بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this video we want to give a simple concept of continuous symmetry. So what is a symmetry? Outlines of the uh, videos, video is our uh, symmetry of function. So what is symmetry of a function and then symmetry of a differential equation what is symmetry of a differential equation and what is symmetry of integral equations so we give simple example for all these uh, things you see symmetry Symmetry of a function is uh, a mathematical transformation. Mathematical transformation Mathematical transformation x y goes to x bar y bar in which function f of x y does not change that is f of x y is equal to f of x bar y bar and for differential equation Let's say first order differential equation, it will be like this. First order differential equation depend on x, y, and y bar, or y dash. So that must be equal to h, x bar, y bar, and y bar dash. And similarly, other, other higher order differential equation. And similarly, for integral equation, if an integral equation uh, is invariant under transformation, then uh, f of x y y dash dx must be equal to f of x bar y bar and y bar dash dx bar so these are simple concepts of the invariance of the function differential equation and integral equation if we have a transformation under which a given function is doesn't changing That mean that transformation is a symmetry. Similar, similarly for differential equation and uh, integral equation. If you have nth order differential equation, then uh, if the given transformation is a symmetry, it will not change under the transformation. Actually, 
boolean invariant so let's see example for uh, these thing we take one one example for each case we have a function let my function is uh, x square plus y square and i take this transformation in fact this transformation is a rotation in the xy plane so this transformation doesn't change this function and let's see it so i take x bar to be x cos epsilon minus y sine epsilon and y bar is x sine epsilon plus y cos epsilon so x bar square and y bar square is that square in this square taking the square you see you have so let uh, do with the detail x square cos square epsilon plus y square so i'm doing this first one sine square epsilon in minus 2 x y cos epsilon sine epsilon the other one is x square sine square epsilon plus y square cos square so these two will cancel and you have to take x square x square common from these two and y square common from these two and you left with sine square Plus cos square, sine square plus cos square, and then you see that is one. So, what we have done, we have done that uh, the given transformation, which is x bar equal to x cos epsilon minus y sine epsilon y bar x sine epsilon plus y cos epsilon is a symmetry for function x square plus y square that's it so the given transformation this transformation is a symmetry for this function now look at the differential equation we take this differential equation and take this transformation so simply is a simple calculation if you differentiate y bar with x bar so you get uh, the transform x and y and apply the d epsilon is a constant so you will get dy by dx and so dx bar dy bar divided by dx bar is in fact x bar minus y bar so put the value of x bar and y bar you will get that if silent will cancel and you will get x uh, x minus y that implies what that implies that implies that uh, the given differential equation does not change under the given transformation the given transformation is given in the table this this transformation doesn't change this uh, differential equation 
so the given transformation is a symmetry this transformation is a symmetry for this differential equation it doesn't change this differential equation now let's see this integral and this transformation this is again rotation in the x u plane we claim that under if you change the coordinate by this transformation you will get the same integral it will not change it will remain the same and in that case this transformation will be a symmetry transformation for the given integral equation so let's see this calculation so find du bar du bar is in fact partial u bar by partial x dx partial u bar by partial u du so partial u bar by partial x see here partial u bar by partial x is in fact uh, let it do here what is u bar u bar is a u bar is x sine epsilon plus u cos epsilon is x sine epsilon plus u cos epsilon so partial u bar by partial x partial u bar by partial x so that will give me sine epsilon similarly partial u by partial u bar by partial u will give me uh, cos epsilon and you, you see this is uh, partial u by partial x and this is partial u bar by partial u so this is the value of partial u bar by partial x this is the value of partial u bar by partial x and given epsilon 0 you will get du because sin 0 is 0 so in this case you get du Similarly, you can find dx, dx bar and in that case you will get when epsilon goes to 0 you get uh, dx. So what that mean? That mean uh, that uh, u dash is equal to u bar dash. So u dash and u bar dash are equal so when you replace u dash by u bar dash it doesn't change anything because they are equal so in that case we get uh, our uh, claim that under the given transformation the integral remain invariant it doesn't change so in this video we give a very simple concept of, uh, of the continuous symmetry why we call it continuous symmetry because you see the table the transformation depend on each transformation depend on a, a continuous epsilon is a real number uh, so it take uh, value from the real number so it is a continuous parameter each transformation in this table um, depend on a continuous parameter epsilon that is why it is continuous symmetry and this transformation doesn't change these uh, functions so they are a symmetry transformation for uh, um, these functions and function integral and differential equation thank you 
I will load this video, these videos, simple, uh, simple concept to the symmetry method on YouTube when you can ask, can ask uh, any question on YouTube. Thank you, you all. Thank you.